Your background, obviously, is very much in nutrition. And another thing I, I saw you bring up recently that seems to be still an ongoing debate is dairy. And um, a lot of people say that the research for dairy that shows it's positive is just because it's funded by the dairy industry and, and things along that line. So um, what do you have to say for the people who are still harping about how bad dairy is? Well, I usually tell people, because this is a topic that usually is creates a lot of debate, especially especially when I lecture. I usually have one or two vegans in the audience, and yeah. <laughs> we, we get into like heated debates. But uh, the thing is that I never force anyone to eat anything. I clearly say to people that like there's no magic foods. You can you can basically uh, get your calcium from other sources, but to get calcium, it's much easier to get it from dairy due to the high concentrations of calcium you get from dairy. Not to right. also mention that the quality of protein you get from dairy compared to other sources is like superior. So there's studies showing that you need double the amount of soy protein compared to whey protein to get the same effect on the protein synthesis. So to me, it's just stupid to, to to be honest to exclude dairy from your diet if uh, if you're not allergic or intolerant uh, to it and research is pretty clear on the benefits that you get from dairy like you see benefits on decreased risk for cardiovascular disease decreased risk for type 2 diabetes uh, decreased risk for uh, bone fractures so there's a lot of benefits that you see from dairy even like reduced risk for various cancers. The only cancer that it's unclear if dairy can have a negative effect or not is actually on prostate cancer. So if you look at the uh, literature, you'll see that on prostate cancer is a bit, um, it's not really clear if it's beneficial or, or not. But if you look at the total, you'll see that uh, as a total, you'll see that dairy has a lot of uh, benefits, not only for those who exercise, but general f for general health as, uh, mm -hmm. as well. And to me, uh, people seem to think that dairy has only been part of the human diet for a short period of time, but we actually have studies showing that dairy has been part of the human diet for several thousands of years. Like they have these old fossils where they analyze what they've actually been eating and they actually find traces of whey protein not the mm -hmm. not the protein powder <laughs> but uh, like whey is uh, is like dairy milk is 20 percent whey so they find traces of whey protein they even find evidence of uh, of uh, humans making cheese several thousand years ago uh, so it's clearly been part of our diet for um, for a very very long time and people often say uh, well we are the only species that drink milk from another animal which is which is bullshit to be honest uh, mm -hmm. there's evidence showing that uh, feral cats steal milk from uh, from uh, seal elephants so there's that but I usually tell people well why are we comparing ourselves to to animals like I don't get it why we're because usually we have different types of diets for different types of animals but then again, we're like we're completely different from animals in in so many ways. We do completely different things compared to a lot of animals. So why did dairy? Uh, why is dairy the only discussion that we have where we try to compare ourselves to other animals? It doesn't make sense. Like you don't see animals in nature sitting on Skype on a Friday night discussing <laughs> topics. It's like it's plain stupid to me to, to talk about these things because we clearly have several benefits from dairy. There's a lot of nutrients there that's easier to cover if you use dairy, for example, uh, calcium. So if you can stomach dairy and you don't have any issues with it, I think it's just stupid to exclude it from your diet because it's just going to make it harder for you to get all the micronutrients that you, that you need in the diet.